as believers, I think we um, have a heart for a lot of issues, and we want to do a lot of good, um, and that's wonderful. At the same time, I think the Bible talks clearly about approaching things with wisdom and with discernment and a lot of care. Um, so sometimes in the church, um, we go ahead and try to do a lot, and we forget uh, what the main thing is. And we don't look at how can we help people without actually affecting their dignity. So, for example, the whole idea of rescuing um, is very much used and pushed in the church. It's pushed in the church in the West and also um, in my country, in Romania. And when you look at it, it's very self-focused. It's focused on the one doing the rescue. And actually, Jesus did that already. We are now called to rescue. We are called to partner with him in something that he has already done. So from the way that we address people, from the way that we talk about survivors, from the way that we maybe fundraise, these are all things in which we can be sensitive and we need to be sensitive. Also, I think it's very important to understand that um, you need special, uh, special preparation, so to speak. Um, you cannot go ahead and, and do the job of a professional uh, we can pray for people and the Lord can show us specific things. And um, obviously, we're not saying that we should try to do this in our own strength. But at the same time, we need to learn how to work with professionals, starting from law enforcement. Um, actually, a lot of times, if we have the best intentions and we go and actually take people from the streets, that's in a lot of countries illegal. We can actually end up being arrested because of that. Um, and being charged with, with exactly human trafficking if we do not do this in a wise way, um, to the care that survivors need. So looking at it from a very holistic perspective, we can go ahead and, and pray for them and love on them, but at the same time, these people have needs um, that involve uh, psychotherapy and all these other um, other needs. Nobody would try to... Uh, do surgery if they're not trained as a surgeon and if they do not have all the necessary things. So in the same way, I don't think we should assume a position in which we're trying to offer, for example, um, mental health care to a survivor of human trafficking. So this doesn't mean that we shouldn't get involved. It just means that we need to keep a perspective that is healthy and that is respectful towards them. So how do we talk about these people? Um, how do we raise funds in order to help them? And who is the center? Because if Jesus is in the center, then the way that we're going to treat them is going to be different. And the way that we're going to relate to them is going to be different as well.